Good morning. Big day today. We're finally talking about the Titanium Triton prototype and uh, changes we might be making. So first, let's just take a look at it, compare it to the original Triton, the OG. In the hand, in the catch zone, dead ringers for each other. Um, we updated the guts so they take G19s instead of the flowable silicone. But the catch zone, so close, dead on, perfect, exactly what we want from it. Now when we switch over to the cup side, you're gonna see that it doesn't have that big IRG. But everything else is pretty similar. But we do have a couple changes in this cup that we do want to make. On the very edge, we're gonna go ahead and round that rim a little bit, just so it's a little bit softer on your thumb when your thumb catches it. And then the like stability ring, we used to call it way back when in there, uh, we're gonna make that softer and rounder to match the OG Triton a little bit better as well. Play-wise, we run into some minor differences. Overall, for the first shot at it, uh, very similar. They have very similar spin time. Stability is a little bit better overall in the titanium. Um, the titanium is lighter and you can feel that though. So I tried to match what I thought would make the stability and spin time match, which it did, but you can tell that the yo-yo is around a gram a little bit more um, different than the original. So. We are gonna to wanna to bring up that weight a little bit when doing the rounding of the rim and the stability ring. We're gonna go ahead and add on another gram of weight for the version two prototype on that rim and see how they play afterwards. Uh, like I said, the, the titanium just plays a little bit lighter. They're both still pretty agile, but you can feel the aluminum version, the original version is just kind of more evenly weighted and just heavier feeling on the string. So we're gonna try and match that a little bit better with the Titanium version two. Uh, Play-wise, very similar though in the hand, um, besides the Titanium feeling a little bit quicker as well with that lightness. Next steps would involve the redesign. So I'm gonna adjust the files, get it set up to where I want it, and then everybody that got in on the version one is gonna get a chance to get the version two prototype. Uh, I'll, I'll be updating this in the Titanium Triton group, which you would be able to find on Facebook. And you could only get in that if you were part of the pre-order process on version one. Now, depending on how many of the original members or people that ordered the version one prototype decide to get the version two, there might be some version twos available for you to get in on the process now as well. Um, so. I'm gonna give them the first option. Depending on how many of them pick it up, we'll decide on if there's gonna be any available on the version two for the general public. Um, I'll have more on that later once I know how many of the original members are going to pick up the version two. Last item I wanna hit on here is what the community of the version one owners had thought. And it's in line with the changes that I wanna make, so I'm very confident that you guys are gonna be happy about this. Everybody thought it needed a little bit more rim weight. They wanted more spin time and more stability. Um, and I was kind of hesitant to give into that just because the original Triton isn't based on a lot of rim weight, a lot of stability. It does have that big IRG, so it looks like it's got more rim weight, but overall, it's a mostly evenly weighted yo-yo, slightly on the rim heavy. Um, and we're kind of doing that with this titanium version as well. Just because of the materials, you're not going to see that drastic rim. Um, we could adjust the whole CAD to give it that IRG, that drastic rim right on the edge. But with the titanium machining, that's gonna be more likely to induce some vibe. So that weight of that IRG is there on the titanium version. 
it's just thinned out and smoothed out over the entire rim. It's not all focused in an IRG. We're gonna give you a little more rim weight, a little more spin time, a little more stability, but we're not going to completely revamp it so that it forgets the origins of the original Triton, which was just a very, uh, not a, not a competition-based yo-yo at all. Just fun, flowable, agile, um, comfortable, just a, a good playing yo-yo. Not a ton of over-the-power spin and momentum that it almost feels like work. It's not supposed to be work to play with this yo-yo. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you don't, maybe you don't. But that's just where my head's at with the thinking on the changes we're making and where, where what I wanted to do with it and then also taking into a, to, um, account what everybody else was asking for in the changes. So that's it for the Titanium Triton update right now. We'll have the CAD and version 2 orders open soon for the original members. And then if there's any extra, I'll make sure everybody else knows. Um, if you do get in on the V2, I will allow you to join the Facebook group um, so you can be part of the process on version 2 and beyond. And then, of course, first dibs for a production run. There is going to be an engraving on the version 2, which once I finalize that, I will uh, show it off on the group and so that they see where it's going to be engraved. I just want a way for you guys to know that it's the version 2 prototype besides having to feel if those rims are rounder and if the uh, stability ring is rounded as well. Just something that you can look at and easily identify it as the version 2 prototype. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Same time. Same place.